This is ChartingWealth.com for Monday, the 27th of April, 2015. We are looking first at IYY, the total market, and we can see where it ended up this week. This is the candles at the end of the week for the two days, and look at that. We have seen the market continue to move up, up, up. We had, oh, a little falling off there around the time frame of expiration Friday before last. But look at how things continue to move up in the week. You can see our two-day trend line right there. And you can also see the derivative oscillator and the MACD both crossing about the same time on the 14th. A little scare here with this red candle and all that down movement pushed back up. But look at how it has kept going. Now let's drop back and again from the total market on the two-day chart, go to the four-hour half-day and you can see there is our two-day trend line. Well above that, movement continued upward. We see the crossover. Now, we had sort of a screwy part of the week, if you remember. We had the market originally back on the 6th starting to move up. Then we had on that expiration Friday, we had it move down. Then we had it start recovering and recover on up through the week. We did have the one crossover going through the two-day trend line, but then it recovered and went back over the, on the MACD going up there on the 22nd in the morning and has continued to move up, up, up. Now, you will see that today it made some movement. This is the morning candle. This is the afternoon candle. This is the day before, so it made some up movements, but not super great heights, uh, higher than it did previously, but again, still moving up, derivative oscillator moving up. The difference between the MACD lines, the, the both the signal line and uh, the MACD itself, you can see those continue to diverge. That is always a good sign. So the market moved up. The uh, little scare at the beginning of the week was over and things continued to make it a decent week this week. Now, remember, we are in April. And April typically ends the big six months of movement. We start getting into the summer doldrums. I will keep telling you that every day. You should hear it and you should remember it. And if you are not reading the Stock Market Almanac, you need to do so so you understand what happens in the summertime. Stock Market Almanac for 2015 from Mr. Hirsch. Now, let's look over here at the two-day chart on the SPY, which is, of course, the Standard & Poor 500. Here's how it transitioned through the week. You can see our trend line. We're well above that on the two-day chart. Crossover going up on the 10th. The S&P looks good. The derivative oscillators continue to move up. Hopefully, you've been making some good money on this move. If you are in the SPY index, what will the next thing that you will be looking for? That is for the SPY to go down. <laughs> you want to continue to make your good money going up, but selling may and go away, we hear over and over again. Be careful. Let's keep watching what's going on. Now, let's go back to the two uh, from the two day chart to the four hour just to see what's happening. And again, you can continue to see a build up there. Everything looking good from the 22nd midday on. So that's where things have been. Now, let's go back to the two-day chart and go to my favorite, the Qs. That is the NASDAQ 100. What do we see going on here? Well, about the same thing going on. Crossing over on the 20th, going up on the two-day chart. A little bit of a scare there earlier in the week, late last week. But this is the way we have come off this week. So let's revert back to the four-hour chart. And you can see the crossover on the MACD was on the 21st. Derivative oscillator quickly followed. And it was a little slower start, but it has continued. Look at that climb today on the NASDAQ. Wow. Uh, that is right through the Bollinger Bands. Remember, these, these bands here are like rubber bands. They're on either side of the movement. They're the Bollinger Bands, and they are volatility bands. And you can see how the price going up increase them markedly. So we'll continue to watch. You don't get much higher than that when it comes to your derivative oscillator. And look at the divergence here between the signal line and the MACD. 
you know, that those are good signs, and we'll continue to watch that. Now, lastly, what do we always do? We go back to the two-day, and we go to gold. And gold has been doing what we have been talking about since about right in here or so. Remember how we saw gold come up, come up, come up, come up, and then we had the doji, and then we had the doldrums. And when look when we drew this trend line way back here, and we've continued to see, and I said, if you put a gun to my head, I would say that it has lost its steam, which slowly it has as it has retreated. We are now crossing over going down on the two-day and the derivative oscillator. It's not done it yet, but it may very well do that come Monday. Gold is slowly but surely going down. How low can it go? Well, remember, it went all the way down to right at $10.50. So it was all the way up at what one almost, well, it, it reached a high of 117, but right there at 116.78. So gold is making a move down. Now, if we revert back to the four-hour chart, what do we see? Well, we see gold moved over going down way back on the middle of the day on the 8th, and it has continued to sort of slowly but surely, you can see our trend line there, slowly but surely, move down. So hopefully you rode gold up here, and hopefully you got out somewhere around about in here, and you are allowing gold to go down, and you'll buy it back a little cheaper when the time is right. That's the beautiful thing about gold and GLD. You can buy it for very low commissions, or maybe, I don't know of any, but maybe you're dealing with a broker who actually allows you to buy gold commission-free. So many of the indexes, you can do that now. I'm not aware of one. Maybe there is. If you do know one, I'd love to know it. Anyway, hope that you had a great week last week trading. Hope that you have a wonderful week this week. Thank you so much for joining us. You want more information, more training. You want to know what's going on. Listen to the charts and not the noise. Make sure that you go to our website, chartingwealth.com. Sign up, get our newsletter every day. We appreciate you. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Let us hear from you. Let us know what you think. And SoundCloud. Take care.